Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back again to my channel, beautiful people. I am happy to have you here. Today, I will show you how to make high end wall art with chargers, charger plates, rose gold edition. My name is Nora G, and welcome to my nook. So, please, before I dig into this, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my nook virtual family. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me. Like I had mentioned, this video is backed by popular demand after my gold and silver edition of how to make wall art with charger plates. So this is the rose gold edition. Make sure to check out the links in the description box below to see how I made the gold and silver edition. So now let's get started. So for this high end wall art DIY, we would need some charger plates, of course, some seashells, I got this from the dollar store, some glass rocks, I got this in three different sizes big bigger and biggest there's the smallest size some drinking straws from my previous project also some sand from my previous DIY project some Jenga blocks or tumbling blocks Mardi Gras beads from the dollar store these are some foam beads that I got from the dollar store as well, which I'll be using. Some um, shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree, so I'll be using this. Plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree. I also got some rose gold spray paint from Michaels. I'm excited for this. I use Design Master. I love how this turns out. Some mirrors from the Dollar Tree and of course my Holy Grail Mud Podge and some crystals that I've had for a while now. Now let's get started. So our first DIY rose gold wall art will be this glam shell mirror wall decor. Yeah, I am back with the names guys. You already know I love to name things. <laughs> All right, so for this rose gold mirror DIY, I will be using a variety of seashells. But first, I will use the Mardi Gras beads, as you can see, around the edge of the base of the charger plate where I will be inserting the mirrors. I then used some generous amount of good old Mod Podge on the outer area of the charger plate where I will be applying some sand. You must be quick with this so that the Mod Podge does not start drying out before you are done pouring your sand. Okay, so once I was done pouring the sand, I kept it aside to dry and set for about three to four hours or so before proceeding. So just watch as I do this. This mirror wall decor is very similar to the silver sandy shell mirror wall decor for my silver edition on how to make high end wall art with chargers, as you can see showing on the screen right now. The major difference here is that I will be using three types of seashells as opposed to just one like I did in the previous. That said, these are the three different shells I will be using for this easy charger plates DIY. I got these from the dollar store for about $2. It has three different shell types. You can place the shells in your desired pattern before you glue them. I would strongly recommend you do that. That way you can adjust accordingly prior to fully gluing them down because once you glue them down, it becomes harder for you to take it off in case uh, you made a mistake or you maybe want to replace something. So just watch as I complete this. Again, like I always say, there is no rule book to this. Just play around with this, find a pattern that works for you and just have fun with it. Get creative, okay? That is the whole idea for DIY. <laughs> you can check out the gold and silver editions of my Easy Charger Plates DIY videos on how to make high-end wall art with chargers for a more detailed explanation. For now, please keep watching as I complete this as I will not be explaining too much in this video. Thank you. Once I was satisfied with the pattern that I wanted, I went ahead and glued down the shells onto the charger plate, or better still, onto the sand after it was dried out. So next up, we were spray painting this rose gold, as you can see. I will then use this mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. 
you must be familiar with these mirrors by now <laughs> and of course I will be using these frames for another DIY project and if you haven't watched my previous DIY project on how I use this mirror frames for uh, a boho modern boho decor make sure to check it out link can be found in the description box and also right now at the top right corner so our charger plate is ready our glam seashell mirror wall decor is set just look at that i just love how simple yet elegant this looks and this is your easy charger plate diy or your diy rose gold wall art i just love the details on this the shells the lines on the scallops and all of that just makes it look like one very expensive wall art so at the end of this video, please comment below which of these glam rose gold charger plate mirror wall decor was your favorite. And if you've watched all three editions, that is the gold, silver and now the rose gold, please let me know which edition you enjoyed or loved the most and why. I'd love to know. Thank you. So next on our glam wall decor DIY is this glam glass rock mirror wall decor. So you know the drill, first things first I will be placing the Mardi Gras beads around the charges and then we will go ahead to add the rocks onto it. So if you did notice and if you've watched the gold edition this is very similar to the crystal um, mirror wall decor as you can see on the screen right now. The difference here being that I am using three different um, rock sizes for this one as you can see uh, whereas with the previous I used just one size so I thought to, to mix things up and use uh, a bigger size and then a couple of smaller sizes as well and I just really loved how this turned out so just watch as I complete this So like I had mentioned at the start of this video, this high-end wall art DIY or DIY rose gold wall art is backed by popular demand after my previous glam wall decor DIY videos, specifically the mirror wall decor in gold and silver. This is the rose gold edition as you can see, link to how I made those can be found in the description box and also at the top right corner of the screen right now. So make sure to check that out and thank you. So with this particular mirror wall decor, I wasn't really following any particular pattern, just like with the previous as well. If you want to follow a pattern that is very fine, go for it. I just wanted this to feel very free and so I wasn't really going in any particular pattern and just going as my spirit led me to. Alright, so now we're going to go on ahead to spray paint this and we'll see how this turns out. So when it comes to spray paint, I really love Krylon, Design Master and Rustolium. So for this particular DIY, I am using Design Master. They just have the best rose gold so far, in my opinion. So just look at that. Look at how that turned out, even before I placed the mirror onto this. So yes, uh, they're a little bit on the more expensive side than Rustolium and Krylon, but it is so worth it. And now this is the final look for our Glam Glass Rock Mirror Wall Decor. Look at that. I love how simple yet exotic this looks, okay? just I just love that these are very versatile. You can actually use them in your rooms, your living room, your office, your bedroom, you name it. Plus, it is very affordable, guys. It is decorating on the budget. Decorating on a budget 2020, I mean 2021, okay? These are Z Gallery inspired. So Z Gallery inspired DIY mirrors or Z Gallery inspired DIY wall art on the budget. So make sure to try this out, guys. Again, please at the end of this video, do let me know which of this glam mirror wall decor was your favorite. And also, if you've watched all three editions, please do let me know in the comment section which edition was your favorite, gold, silver or rose gold. You let me know. Thank you. Thank you. 
So next on our glam wall decor DIY is this glam Jenga mirror wall decor. And of course, first things first, we're using our Mardi Gras beads on the back of our charges. And then we will proceed to placing our Jenga blocks and some curtain rings, which will be the two items I will be using for this particular DIY. So I will also use some um, foam beads that I got from the Dollar Tree. So they're like some small foam boards, um, foam balls or foam beads, something of the sort. <laughs> yeah, foam beads. So that's what it looks like and they have glitter on it and I thought this would be the perfect um, filler for this because I'm going to use that to fill in the rings. I was actually looking to go for coffee bean and um, but I couldn't find coffee bean and the few that I found didn't quite fit the way I wanted it to fit so the foam beads were a perfect match and it's also very light so it doesn't add too much weight onto, onto our DIY project. Make sure to place the Jenga blocks and the rings around the charger plate before you glue them down just to make sure that uh, you have them properly placed in the position that you want them to. Because like I said earlier, once you glue this down before you actually have a proper idea of what you want to do, you cannot take them off again and that will be a problem. So just watch as I complete this. This Jenga mirror wall decor is very similar to the silver stony block mirror wall decor that I did in the silver edition as you can see right now on the screen. So I guess we can say this is a remix. <laughs> so well, I am doing it differently. This time I am using some curtain rings and Jenga blocks. This just goes to explain to you that you can make this a thousand and one ways. You just need to get creative and just do you. Just have fun with it guys. That is the whole idea. So I am using Mod Podge in the circles or in the uh, the curtain rings and to, to attach the, the foam beads onto it. And then I use some foam glue to over it for a thermal hold. So this is actually made for foam and these beads are, are made of foam so it holds properly and it dries clear. That is also very important. Make sure whatever um, uh, adhesive you're using dries clear for something like this because you don't want it showing through even though you're going to spray paint it. And then I went ahead to use another set of beads uh, around the edges just to add an extra flair to it. I just felt one wasn't enough, especially the fact that uh, there was um, quite some space between the blocks and the first round of beads. So just watch as I complete this once I have this spray painted. Well, 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 you know what time it is, guys. <laughs> so if you've watched right up to this point, please show your girl some love and comment rose gold in the comments section you know i love to interact with each and every one of you because you all are my amazing nook family and don't forget to smash that like button if you've enjoyed this video so far thank you and let's continue now this is our final look i just find this one very very synchronized it is so visually appealing i just find it very aligned maybe because of the squares the rectangles and the circles I just love how this turned out. Please do let me know in the comments section which of these mirror wall decor is your favorite. Again, if you enjoyed the gold, silver or rose gold version, which of this edition was your favorite? I would love to know. We had the gold, we had the silver and now we have the rose gold. So, if you are looking for a rose gold mirror DIY or a DIY rose gold wall art, this video is for you. It can be whatever color you want this to be, okay? It is so easy and very affordable, yet so high-end and chic, okay? Very chic. Now, let's get on to the next. Next on our easy charger play DIY mirror wall decor dollar tree is our glam spoon mirror wall decor. Okay, so for this one I will be using some plastic spoons and a bunch of drinking straws. 
This DIY rose gold wall art will be a combination of both spoons and drinking straws. And it is very similar to two of our previous DIY um, wall mirror, mirror wall decor, uh, the silver spoon and also this drinking straw gold one as well as you can see on the screen right now. For the previous, I had the spoon facing downward and now I'm doing I'm going to do this having the face of the spoon facing up and then I will use the straws on the empty space underneath the spoon. So just watch as I complete this. Don't worry about the webs created by the hot glue. I usually use a hand dryer or a blow dryer set at very high to basically blow dry the webs away and that is my trick. Okay, to so do what works for you. It works like a charm every time for me. I then went ahead to add a second layer of beads. These are way smaller than the first one. So I will be putting a second layer of beads around the charger plate just to add some extra flair. At the same time, this also covers the base of the spoon heads. So it's just not showing. All right, it make, makes it look neat and very tidy. Okay, so let's keep going. Next, I will be using some marbles on the face of the spoons, okay? Again, just to add some flair. And I just love how this already started to look. It gave um, some kind of a flower vibe, if you can see what I mean. <laughs> so I'll be adding the marbles on each one, all 25 of them. Yes, I did count them. So there's 25 spoon heads and I'll be using 25 marbles, all right? And once I'll be done with this, I'll go ahead to use the um, the straws, these straws are way bigger than the first one that I used in the gold edition. So I wanted something thicker, I actually wanted something bigger than this, but I couldn't find. And I didn't want to have to use um, wooden, wooden sticks. So I wanted something light. So I was able to find these straws. And so we will go ahead and glue this all around the charger plate for an extra flare. There are so many ways you can go with creating your own high-end wall art using chargers, charger plates. Like I always say, just get creative and make it yours. That is the whole idea of DIY, creating unique pieces that cannot be found anywhere else and even if found would look similar but not the same. So that is exactly what my channel is about, for you to just get creative, think outside the box, do you and have fun. Meanwhile, if you're yet to check out my last week's video on the Enchanted Rose Lamp, that was a Valentine's Day DIY, which we're still going to continue with our Valentine's Day series starting from next week as well. I just needed to clear this off my desk because it has been a high demand for the rose gold edition. So make sure to check out my Valentine's Day DIY lamp and let me know what you think. All right? My oh my, what a difference spray painting makes. Spray paint makes all the difference, guys. You can spruce up anything with spray paint, even bread. Okay, no, no I'm kidding, <laughs> right? So yes, we'll go ahead and place our mirrors as per usual, and then you will see the final look of this beautiful glam spoon mirror wall decor. Do let me know which of these were your, was your favorite and also if you prefer the rose gold, the gold or the silver edition. Thank you. This just lights up my world. Just look at how beautiful this looks. Like I had said in my previous videos, that is the gold and silver editions. One interesting thing about this charger plates DIY and glam wall decor DIY is that it doesn't necessarily have to be placed on walls or used as a wall art. You can have it displayed on a stand like I have shown in this video as per right now or you can actually just do your own design on the reverse side that is the actual side of the charger plate and use it as a mini glam tray on which you can have some home decor items or sculpture placed, even a vase, okay? There's just so many ways you can go about this. So last on the list for our glam wall decor DIY is the glam gravel mirror wall decor, okay? So for this, I will use some gravel um, that I got from the Dollar Tree as well as some 
acrylic crystal, all from the Dollar Tree. This mirror wall decor of this DIY rose gold wall art is very similar to the gold uh, rocky stony rock. Yeah, the gold stony rock uh, mirror wall decor that we had done previously in the gold edition, as you can see on the screen right now. The difference right now will be that I am actually using gravel and not rocks, as well as some acrylics. Okay, but the outcome of the final outlook is very similar to that. Again, at the end of this video, please do let me know which of these five amazing DIY home decor wall art was your favorite. Okay, and this is the rose gold edition. As you can see, I would love to know which edition you enjoyed the most. If you enjoyed the gold edition, silver edition, or now the rose gold edition the most. And do let me know as well which of um which color you like to see me do next all right let's keep getting creative and making so many wall art and other items so just comment below if you would like to see me try another color um i am all yours okay just let me know so i am using hot glue to actually put the gravel onto the space that i didn't have the acrylic crystal glued onto so you could also use mod parch for this i just prefer hot glue because it is faster i don't have to wait for any down there's no downtime for it to dry okay because by the time i'm doing the next the previous one is already dried but with um with mod parch you will have to give it some time uh, even though at the end of the day mod parch will cure better once I was done pouring this, I'm going to go ahead and have this spray painted. And once we're done with the spray paint, I allowed it to dry for about an hour to properly dry. I think probably one, one to two hours or so. And then I will go on to place the mirror onto the tray and our mirror wall decor is set. Sorry, not tray. Mirror wall decor. Okay. <laughs> Again, if you're only watching part 3 of this video series, make sure to check out the gold and silver edition on how to make high-end wall art with chargers, okay? So the links can be found in the description box below. And now this is our final look. The perfect rose gold metallic wall art. I just love how this turned out. This one was very simple. I would say one of the easiest of them all and fastest to make. And I just really loved how it came out. Okay, do let me know in the comment section which of these rose gold war decor was your favorite. All right, I would love to know. These are so high end, easy to make, affordable, chic, classy sophisticated and most of all high-end wall decor on a budget you can't go wrong with that okay and now just a quick recap we went from regular looking charger plates to these amazing rose gold diy home decor wall art high-end wall art diy that can be made from the comfort of your home without breaking the bank and they look just as sophisticated high-end and glam just look at that so that would sum it up for our DIY rose gold wall art and easy charger plates DIY. I hope this mirror wall decor Dollar Tree gives you an idea and so much inspiration for your next DIY project. That said, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to smash that like button and also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're yet to and turn on notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new exciting video. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.